Dynamic East, the technology program sponsored by Norse Group. Think of East Anglia and it's easy to imagine a stunning rural landscape rich in heritage. But it's also a dynamic outward facing region of cutting edge innovation and enterprise. We're going under the bonnet of the Eastern region to meet some of the talented people doing business on the global stage. Remember this jacquard loom? This was the 3D printer of its day. It revolutionised the weaving process by using punch cards to program in the designs. These same punch cards were the basis for industrial automation. They went on to form the basis of early computing. In fact, IBM built its reputation in the early part of the 19th century on producing electromagnetic punch cards, and they were used to program computers right up until the mid-1980s. The people who worked out how to convert patterns into punch card sequences were the 19th century equivalent of computer geeks. Now Norwich has a new generation of programmers, coders, developers, designers and user experience testers, all using the latest technology to create new businesses. In fact, in their latest report, the government-backed agency Tech City UK recognised Norwich and Ipswich as nationally important hubs of technology. The Centre for Advanced Knowledge Engineering will be based in Down the Market. It's an 80 acre site, it's an old RAF station. Um, it's key for this area in terms of the research that's going on in Cambridge, Norwich, Ipswich and in Peterborough. So we are aiming to create the data centre for the east of England for this research. Skills are a major issue for us and this is where we aim to, to build the area as a centre for skills in data analytics. We're living in an age where there are some very um, interesting challenges to solve and those will only really be solved by bringing together multiple disciplines. So innovation tends to happen quite regularly when you look at the intersections between sectors or disciplines. So if we can connect the right people, um, we can be more innovative, more creative and help to make Norwich, Norfolk and Suffolk much more vibrant, um, more creative and to be able to support um, more start-up businesses, more growth businesses. But where will you find these businesses? Well, like the factories and workshops of the Industrial Revolution, you'll find them throughout Norwich and across the region. In fact, some of them have set up here in a cluster called White Space at St James Mill, a former printworks and textile factory. Here on the second floor is the White Space Tech Hub, where web designers, app developers and systems builders are driving business growth. There are even people connecting everyday objects to the internet, part of the Internet of Things revolution. Uh, I run Things.net, which is a startup, um, which is based in Whitespace, which I also run. Um, so Whitespace is a co-working space tech hub in the heart of the city of Norwich. Uh, we have about 70 desks um, for people to kind of rent themselves for young startups. And I'm also um, the vice chair of Tech East, which is a new association for technology and digital businesses based in the eastern region. So um, Internet of Things really is all about making you know, what are traditionally dumb objects or objects that just have a particular purpose into something you can interact with and control. So you know, hear things like fridges, or, for example. But the great thing about things like 3D printers and laser etchers and the technology we've got in the makerspace environment is you could potentially put technology into the things such that you can then interact with them. We had the collaboration and conversations with Barclays around what we're doing here at Whitespace and through a bit of negotiation and discussion between the two of us we've agreed that Whitespace is going to be the first co-branded Eagle Lab facility in the UK. 
So you know, we have the capabilities and facilities that Barclays are providing for makerspace, 3D printers, laser etchers and that kind of thing. So we can actually get people in to make stuff. So Naked Element creates software solutions uh, which improve efficiency for businesses. As well as software company Naked Element, I run a community group called Norfolk Developers which brings high quality technical content to the region. Norfolk and Norwich need to be seen as the technical hubs that they are. Because of the nature of the very small businesses that we have, it's really important that we talk to each other and that we network. And community groups like Norfolk Developers help the technical companies to do that. Tech East isn't just about Norwich or even Norfolk. It includes Ipswich and also the tech cluster here at Innovation Marshalsham. At Astral Park, where I am today, is home to BT's Global Research Centre. This is where they developed one of the most important tech breakthroughs of the last 50 years, the fibre optic cables that circle the globe. These are the things that make broadband super fast, help people do more business online, play games, and most importantly of all, share pictures of cute pets. Over the years, former BT employees have set up their own businesses on the park. This has created a new tech cluster of dynamic companies who could become the tech superstars of the future. So the whole point of Innovation Marshallsham is really to encourage new startups of um, companies and to provide a place where companies can feel um, that they're with like-minded people. That makes an ecosystem and that helps to actually encourage new businesses to start up. And of course, if you've got that, we can then in, uh, help those businesses to grow and expand as they, as they want to. Over the years, um, BT has developed some world firsts. The, one of the most important being the work that was done here on single mode optical fibre, which really underpins the global communications network of, of today and really is man, mankind's biggest, most complex machine that's ever been built. But digital creativity is not just confined to web-based companies. It's increasingly an important part of every business. Here at Hethel Engineering, computers are used to simulate a variety of real-world applications in technology. So Hethel Engineering Centre was started back in 2006. Um, and it was built originally and still is a centre for ex engineering excellence, a place for people to start businesses and create things that are completely new. Um, originally, obviously being this close to Lotus, uh, the place was built primarily for the sort of manufacturing and development of automotive and mechanical engineering kind of products and stuff. But over the years, that's spread quite a lot. And now we focus quite heavily on electronics and software, but with uh, really specialties going across everything. So. Uh, uh, we've got everything from automotive via clean technology through to housing by way of biotechnology. You know, really, you name it, someone's building it in here. Our region has a strong automotive sector. Earlier in the series, we met the team at Xenos Cars. Here at Hethel, Ansible Motion are helping leading car manufacturers develop the next generation of vehicles, including potentially self-driving cars. Um, so Unsmall Motion provides um, driving simulators. We design and build them in-house here in Hethel um, and they're used by some of the largest automotive manufacturers in the world uh, and they use them primarily for um, developing the next generation of vehicles that are going to be seen on the road. So this is a concept that our chief designer came up with. Um, the first three layers are all independent so you don't, don't run out of stroke on any one of those. So we have uh, a handwheel loading system for steer torque feedback. Uh, we have seat belt loading system to provide braking cues. Um, and we can also um, add in a helmet loading system as well for motorsport applications. Um, so that's the motion system. Then the vision system, this installation uses five projectors. Um, they are 1920 by 1200 at 120 hertz. The extra frame rate uh, on top of traditional uh, displays really gives the benefit from, uh, in terms of the peripheral vision um, as the scenery is whizzing past the driver. Many of the companies here at Hethel, like Ansible Motion, are building their business on the back of big data. Now that might seem like a buzzword, but in fact it's one of the big business drivers of the 21st century. IBM have calculated that we're creating somewhere in the region of 2.5 quintillion bytes of data every day. In fact, 
90% of the data in the world now was only created in the last two years. I think big data allows everybody to make better informed decisions. Uh, so I think it's a really important part of uh, future delivery of public services and uh, marketing from private uh, organisations. It does come with some risks because uh, we've seen recent events of uh, data being hacked uh, and that could have uh, an increased requirement for cyber security. So to recap, we've got 3D printing, big data, advanced engineering, avionics and the ability to upload a selfie at the speed of light. All these things, thanks to the Eastern Region's technology sector, we can enjoy every day. But watch this space because there's so much more coming over the horizon. Dynamic East, the technology program, sponsored by Norse Group.